Hello and welcome to this Terp Hunters production on CBD Simplified. Today I will be talking about CBD cannabidiol, a very important and popular cannabinoid. CBD is a non-psychoactive cannabinoid found in cannabis strains and cultivars including hemp. I believe that CBD does not want to work by itself. It requires a small amount of another cannabinoid, Delta-8 or Delta-9 THC, in order to perform its magic. It is my humble opinion that cannabinoids like CBD and THC have a symbiotic relationship. They, want to, they need each other to be able to carry out their task. When it comes down to our pets, they cannot break down the stored THC like people can. So we look for hemp CBD products where the value of THC is around 0.3%, which is safer for our beloved pets. I promise to bring a hemp video your way soon because I'm a firm believer in hemp seeds and other products derived from hemp. The most frequent questions that are currently being asked by people looking for information on CBD products are, what are some of the benefits that CBD may offer to improve my lifestyle? There are many ratios of CBD to THC on the marketplace. Is there a certain ratio I should look for? What are the options to consuming CBD? How much should I take? When should I consume CBD products? And what happens if I take too much? So let me share with you my findings to these questions. CBD benefits. CBD in conjunction with other cannabinoids like THC has been and is currently being researched to help people with the following ailments. Sleep deprivation, insomnia, inflammation, mobility, anxiety, seizures, intraocular pressure, nausea, inhibiting tumor growth, muscle spasms, and migraines. When it comes down to pain, I believe Delta-8 and Delta-9 THC is the cannabinoid you should be looking for. When we look at the various ratios of CBD to THC, we have to remember that there are so many studies that are currently taking place and are in progress trying to understand the exact dosing. So let's keep in mind that we're all different. So let's get to know how it affects you by starting with low doses. I use a CBD product called Free by Soleil and also a product by Edison where you can see that there's 10.2 milligrams per milliliter with, of CBD with 0.25 milligrams per milliliter of THC. The product is a 30 milliliter bottle so that tells us that there are 306 milligrams of CBD and 7.5 milligrams of THC. So if I'm taking one mil prior to bedtime, I'm getting 10.2 milligrams of CBD and 0.25 milligrams of THC when I dose sublingually CBD oil. When it comes to dry flour, vape CBD cartridges, topicals and edibles, go slow. I've never heard of anyone becoming ill consuming CBD products. So just go slow, and learn how you react from small amounts before consuming larger amounts. There are many government and manufacturer websites available giving you advice on how to consume their products. If you can't find any, reach out to us at Turp Hunters and we'll help you. Some of the options that I have seen and used thus far are CBD oil meant to be taken sublingually and or topically, tinctures, capsules, edibles, dried cannabis flour, vaporizer CBD distillate cartridges, creams, bombs, and oral sprays. Most CBD oil products on the market cost between $20 and $120 and vary with the amount of milligrams of CBD and THC, but usually contains a total of 30 milliliters of infused CBD oil. For the oil and tincture, start with a few drops under your tongue, sublingually. The dropper usually holds one mil and so we're looking to start with consuming 5 to 10 milligrams per dose of CBD when we require it or when we need to consume it. So if we start with 0.5 milliliters under the tongue and hold it for up to 10 to 15 minutes, we should notice the onset within 30 to 45 minutes. And the duration for most oils should be between 6 and 8 hours. The capsules may take longer to break down in our stomach acid, but we'll have the same duration. Edibles. When we choose a CBD dominant cannabis strain or cultivar, like Charlotte's Web, Harlequin, Canatonic, Ringo's Gift, ACDC, Treasure Island, Pennywise, Dancehall, Nordle, Hawaiian Dream, and various hemp cultivars, 
We can remove the cannabinoids like CBD and infuse them with a carrier like butter, margarine, and coconut butter. Separating the cannabinoids and terpenes from the plant material and into your can of butter. You should not need more than 7 grams of CBD dominant cannabis dry flour to make 450 grams of can of butter or 414 milliliters of organic coconut butter. The effects may be noticed between 30 minutes and 1.5 hours and can last between 8 and 12 hours. I know the direct mathematical equation when it comes down to making your own edibles are not easy. So start with small amounts, get to know how you react with just a little bite before eating 20 bites. Please keep in mind that the boiling point of CBD is between 160 and 180 degrees Celsius. So let's keep that temperature down below 160 C to make sure we retain this particular cannabinoid in our favorite recipes. Topicals. There are many CBD enriched creams and balms on the market now. And in Canada, we are starting to see the skin and beauty products hitting the dispensaries and websites. Hemp skin creams, lip balms, and hair products have been around for some time now. I like to use them even though I'm not 100% sure how much CBD I'm getting. Remember, if you're taking heart medication which doesn't agree with THC, you, all, you can also use the cannabis oil or CBD oils topically, like we would use a cream on our skin. We can guarantee that CBD will block THC from entering through the pores of our skin so that there will be no psychoactive effects from topicals other than maybe a little bit of drowsiness. Beverage. There are CBD beverages that you can now purchase in the cannabis dispensaries and I have no information thus far on ratios or percentages so I cannot comment yet on the bottled beverages but I will mention this that adding some dominant CBD dried cannabis flour to your smoothie or tea is a great option for this beverage category. Smoking or vaporizing. We are all aware of CBD dominant cannabis cultivars or strains. So we can try to target CBD with our vaporizer temperature settings. Remember, the boiling point of CBD is said to be between 160 and 180 degrees C. So if we set our vaporizer at 161, we can try to target CBD without targeting every terpene and cannabinoid in the bud or dried plant material. It is my humble opinion that we can inhale a good majority of the CBD found in the trichomes or keef without destroying it using higher temperatures like smoking. There are now CBD vaporizer cartridges on the market and I am sure that someone at your local dispensary or your family practitioner will be able to share with you some advice on the various cartridges available in your area. Again, three or four puffs, give it 15 to 20 minutes. If you need more, take more. You may notice the effects of, from this method happen between five and 20 minutes and can last from four to six hours. I will be releasing my temperature treasure map in the next couple of weeks, but you can always find it on the terphunters.ca website in the free members area. Because I like to take CBD oil for a good night's rest, I take one mil and an hour and a half prior to bedtime. Please keep in uh, consideration no sugar and no caffeine during this time, or it may take a little longer for you to go to sleep. Topically, as a cream, I believe you can use it any time on affected areas. So depending on your lifestyle, take the topicals when you want to. If we are concerned about the effects from taking too much CBD, don't be. From all the articles I have read pertaining to this, the result will be loose stool or diarrhea. I am not medically trained, so please be open to having discussions with your family doctor prior to using anything cannabis related. Every episode I'll be giving a shout out to special individuals that were involved in my studies, mentors to my cannabis journey. So let's give credit where credit is due regarding this CBD presentation. Carl Linnaeus, thank you for discovering cannabis in 1753. Sir William Osler in 1892 for publishing in his textbook The Principles and Practice of Medicine where William treated migraine headaches using cannabis. Dr. Roger Adams and team at the University of Illinois in 1940 were the first to discover CBD. Dr. Walter S. Lowe conducted the first CBD test on laboratory animals in 1946. Dr. Ralph Mitchell identified CBD as a three-dimensional structure in 1963 and ran a study on CBD as a key factor in treating epilepsy in 1980. 
the Stanley Brothers in Colorado for creating Charlotte's Web, a hemp cultivar which saved Charlotte Figge, an amazing young girl who suffered from severe forms of epilepsy. And Nate Morris, who I watched on a TV series called Weed Country, put his freedom on the line to help a young boy named Ben with his battle with epilepsy in 2012. For more information pertaining to cannabis cannabinoids, terpenes, flavonoids, growing techniques, curing methods, processing techniques, and consumption options, please follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, Twitter, and our website, terphunters.ca. I hope that this information has helped some of you better understand CBD. So until next time, thank you, be cool, and keep terp hunting.